Hello, Charles from American Life 365. In this video, I will share with you an auto brake bleeding. This may be unfamiliar or new to some people, but this is important because it is related to safety. Before talking about why we need to bleed braking system. And how to do it? Let me first talk about the consequences if we don't do it as required. If you don't bleed your brake system, your brakes may not be very responsive, resulting a longer braking distance. In most cases, when you brake a few inches short. Can make a great big difference to avoid the accidents. Why doesn't a brake respond very well? The main reason is the brake fluid contains air. When air is under hydraulic pressure, air is much more flexible than liquid. Just as you can press more air into a wheel. Air has stronger resilience to pressure. If your brake fluid contains more air, your brakes will become less responsive. You need to get rid of the air contained in the brake fluid. How does air get into the brake fluid? When brake pads or brake drums are worn. Or brake services is performed, such as replacing the brake pad or drum, or reconnecting the brake pipe. This can result in air intrusion. The so-called bleeding is the process of replacing the brake fluid containing air. With fresh, pure brake fluid, without air. There are two ways to bleed brakes. One is manual operation by two people. One person steps on the brake pedal, and the other open close the brake piston. This requires leg strength, especially when bleed the last wheel. You also need to know how to break eighty percent. The other way is to use software to trigger the car's bleed operation. Everything is an automatic process. The person only needs to follow the instruction from the software. What is the order of bleeding? Which wheel? Is the first to bleed. You want the longest brake pipe to bleed first, because the longest pipe has the higher pressure, and the shortest pipe is the last to bleed, because the shortest has the lower pressure. In this order, to avoid the air in the brake fluid entering. The previous brake pipe, which has already done bleeding, so the order is rear right, rear left, front right, and front left. Assume you have driver on the left. Of course, if driver on the right. The order is rear left, rear right, front left, and the front right. Now the question is, why the brakes fluid reservoir is so close to the driver? I leave the answer at the end of this video. <laughs>
Now let me show you how to bleed brakes of this car by IMPA software. I put some papers around the brake fluid reservoir just in case any spill or leak. Add more brake fluid into the reservoir. Don't add too much at once. There is a line on the reservoir. Make sure don't add over the line because if too much, when you insert the, the motor and close the cap, it will spill. The brake fluid is dot four. Close the reservoir cap properly. Lift the car and take off the wheel. Open the piston cap of brake fluid pipe. Then connect a pipe and a bottle to the piston. Then launch app IMPA IMPA. Then go to chassis. Go to dynamic stability control module. Ignore warning message, click OK. Then activate. Now you get bleeding menu. Then you click bleeding RR. You got RR pop up to open the piston. Open the rear right piston. Back to the car and click OK. And the bleeding starts. You got green screen means press brake pedal. Blue means release pedal. Then press, release, press, release, couple of times. Just follow the instruction. The second half of bleeding and the instruction changed from uh, Press pedal become uh, actuate. It is confusing a little bit. <laughs> so don't worry. If failed, you can start again. So press release, press release several times. Just follow the instruction. Press, release, then press, release, press, release. Then press release press
release, press, release, press, release, press, release, Fine. Finally, the bleeding for this wheel is completed and you ask Good. you to close the piston. Close the piston and detach the pipe. Close the piston cap. Then you can do the same procedure on the rear left. Open the piston cap and connect the pipe to the piston. And click the menu on the rear left bleeding process. Open the piston. Then click OK to start the bleeding processing for RL, rear left. And finally, the bleeding for this wheel is completed and close the piston. And you can do the same procedure to front right and front left. During the bleeding process, uh, and you have to check if you need to add more brake fluid to the reservoir. Since brake fluid in the pipe has been bleeded out some, so, so basically you need to add more brake fluid. Now turn to the last wheel, which is the driver side, front left. Now I'm answering why the brake fluid reservoir is close to the driver side, because the master cylinder of brake system is in the front driver side. That is why they want to make the shortest the distance between reservoir and the master cylinder, so make the system efficiently and safely. That is all for this video, and uh, I just want to share with you on how simple to bleed your brake system. 
My slogan is: If he can do it, I can do it. You can do it. Absolutely. We have hundreds of video in many aspects of American life. If you like our video, please click the logo to subscribe our channel and share with your friends. Your effort to help us encourage us to make more videos. Thank you.